Welcome back, warriors, to another Battlefield 2042 video. I'm your commanding officer, Major Doodleman149, and in today's briefing, I'll be returning to the battlefield to discuss one of the upcoming changes to this conflict that will be arriving with the introduction of Update 2.2, the introduction of persistent servers. Now, while this may be a good thing for some, let me tell you why it's half-assed for others. Let's get into this, troops. I'd like to let you all know about what the brass up at DICE has in store for us ground pounders with the release of Update 2.2. Specifically, let me tell you about how the persistent servers will work. For the lifetime of this conflict, whenever we chose to deploy to the battlefield, HQ would randomly send us to a front and we were just expected to fight on it. In conflicts past, we'd have the option of seeing a list of ongoing conflicts and would be able to choose which ones we wanted to engage in. With this 2042 conflict, the brass gave us a big fuck you and expected us to deal with it. But now, after all these months of fighting on random fronts, DICE is finally allowing for us to have some form of battle plan. They are introducing what they call persistent servers. These are battlefields that can be chosen from personally and will remain active even after all viable combatants have left the area of operations. This means if you like a specific series of fronts and specific objectives, you are free to engage in those at a later date by picking the specific battle plan. There's just one problem with this, recruits. This is only being introduced to the fucking Portal Combat simulations. If you are thinking your CO is discussing a battle plan for the actual all-out warfare that most soldiers deploy to, then I am sorry to inform you that DICE has just again given us a big fuck you. They are clearly capable of implementing a battle plan that would have a specific rotation of fronts for soldiers to move through, while also providing a list of active fronts for us to choose from, much as they have done in conflicts past. However, instead of introducing this to the actual overall operation, something soldiers have been clamoring for for almost a year at this point, they instead throw it into Portal. Fuck off, DICE. In case you couldn't tell from my oh-so-subtle tone regarding this addition to this operation, I think this is a stupid fucking idea. It's literally spitting in the faces of the soldiers that have deployed by telling us they're perfectly capable of delivering what we regular soldiers have been asking for, but instead, they won't. They simply feel that the portal simulations are more worth their time, which makes sense if you look at it from the brass's perspective. Having to make battle plans and objectives for soldiers to focus on is hard, hard work. Instead, they're putting this task into the hands of the soldiers so that you can sit up at HQ and do fuck all with their day. Why should they have to organize our forces into a fighting force to take on the enemy when they could just leave it to, for us to do it ourselves? Bunch of lazy fucks. The worst part about this was that when I brought this issue up to the brass personally, I basically got another fuck you from a superior yet again. I was told that the portal simulations are about having fun and experimenting, that it's a way to keep like-minded soldiers deploying together. That makes sense. But then he went on to say that they're open to all forms of feedback, but if I wanted a battle plan for conquest on the current fronts, not all fronts of conflicts past, then I would be sure to find it in the portal simulations. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Guess I'll fuck off then. Why should I expect a basic feature of Conflict's Past to return for this one when I could just go searching through Portal to find something that should already be in this fucking conflict? Guess I'm just the jackass then. Dice, shove it up your ass. And so that is all, Warriors. That concludes my coverage of the persistent servers that Dice will be implementing into fucking Portal. What do you all think about this, recruits? Clearly, HQ has the capability to introduce these battle plans into our regular all-out warfare deployments, but they'd rather invest their resources into the fucking combat simulations. Give me a fucking break. On top of that, telling me to basically go find my own fun when it's a basic feature of any previous conflict is insulting. Fuck you, DICE. Feel free to keep burning me. This is my last deployment with this outfit regardless, so just make it as shitty as you possibly can. Are you excited for these persistent servers in Portal? Do you think these should come to All Out Warfare? Permission to speak freely is granted. And so, if you felt your CO has done an adequate job today in this briefing, then be sure to leave me a like, super thanks, or subscription to show the brass at HQ that I could do with a larger audience. So, I've been your CO, Major Doodleman149, and until next time, you are all dismissed!